Hamas says the killing of its military leader has opened the gates of hell for all-out war with Israel. Ahmed Jabari was assassinated by an Israeli airstrike, which promises to mark the beginning of an Israeli-led offensive against Gaza. For more, let's cross now live to RT's Tom Barton. He's in Tel Aviv. Tom, tell us exactly what's happening. Hi there, Bill. A rapidly developing situation here. Uh, the latest developments that we've got for you. Uh, in just the last few minutes, Egypt has said it may uh, remove its ambassador uh, to Israel over these, over these strikes. It all goes back earlier, just a few hours, to uh, the killing of Ahmed Jabiri, uh, that is Hamas's uh, military head by a targeted air Israeli airstrike. Uh, and then that developed into uh, really quite intense bombing that's been going on over Gaza in the past few hours. Reports at the moment um, from uh, Palestinian officials say that nine have been killed and dozens wounded, uh, including uh, amongst those dead a seven-year-old girl. We've also got reports that Raid al Attar, another high-profile Hamas military figure, was killed in a separate targeted um, bombing attack that the Israelis have also hit an ammunition warehouse, well, what they call an ammunition warehouse inside Gaza, where a lot of rockets were stored. And uh, indeed, Hamas is not just um, taking this lying down, as well as some strong words. They've also been firing rockets into the south uh, of Israel, that, that bombardment of rockets continuing as well. So really, uh, nothing less than a war situation down there. Operation Pillar of Defense, uh, it's, it's been called, announced by the Israeli Defense Forces. They say that they're targeting not just Hamas, but other militant groups in Gaza, including Islamic Jihad. Uh, it all went back uh, to the weekend when uh, an Israeli uh, airstrike killed four, including three children, uh, sources inside Gaza said. There had also been rocket attacks uh, since the weekend as well. It now seems that uh, reservists have been called up uh, inside the Israeli army and the um, a press release said that they're ready for ground operations if need be. This goes back to... Um, the, to the cast-led operation in 2008-9. Nothing of that intensity seen since then uh, until now. Uh, and at the very least, Israeli spokesmen say days of operations are very likely ahead. For their part, Hamas absolutely infuriated by these attacks. Um, some of the statements released by them, there will be repercussions from these attacks. The gates of hell have been opened and uh, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu will regret this operation. Uh, it seems that um, certainly if cast lead back in 2008 to 9 could have been called war, this can. And all of the, uh, all of the associated uh, miseries and all of the violence associated that is with that is already unfolding. Tom, thanks very much indeed for that live update. No doubt more from you throughout the day. In the meantime, RT's Tom Barton there, keeping us up to date with those developments concerning Israel and Gaza.